A week after resigning from the Dallas Mavericks, Rick Carlisle has agreed to a four-year deal to return to the Indiana Pacers as head coach, he told ESPN. The deal is worth $29 million plus incentives, sources said. Carlisle spent 13 seasons in Dallas, becoming the franchise's winningest coach with a 555-478 record and leading the Mavs to the franchise's only championship in 2010-11. His resignation came a day after the franchise parted ways with longtime president of basketball operations Donnie Nelson, but Carlisle said the front office changes in Dallas had nothing to do with his decision. You never want to get to a point where you ever feel like you're overstaying your welcome, and I just felt like this is the right time," Carlisle said Thursday. I just have such great respect for Mavs owner Mark Cuban and everyone there, and I'm fortunate to move on to another great opportunity. Cuban has said that he plans to hire a new head of basketball operations before finding Carlisle's replacement. Mavs legend Dirk Nowitzki has returned to the franchise as a special advisor to assist Cuban in those searches. Michael Finley, Nowitzki's former teammate and the franchise's current executive vice president of basketball operations, is among the candidates being considered to replace Nelson. Nowitzki, Finley and a select group of other trusted, longtime Mavs employees have met with Cuban and brought up former Mavs point guard Jason Kidd as a potential coaching candidate, sources said. Mavs assistant coach Jamal Mosley, who has a particularly strong relationship with superstar guard Luka Doncic, is also expected to be among the coaching candidates considered in Dallas search. Carlisle on Thursday offered a strong endorsement of Kidd, whom Carlisle coached for four seasons in Dallas, highlighted by the Mavs championship run. My hope is that Jason Kidd will be the next coach of the Mavs because he and Luka have so many things in common as players, Carlisle said. I just think that it would be a great situation for Luca, and I think it would be an amazing situation for Jason. I'm the only person on the planet that's coached both of those guys and that knows about all of their special qualities as basketball players. To me, that just would be a great marriage, but that's just an opinion. Carlisle previously coached the Pacers for four seasons 2003-04-2006-07, compiling a 181-147 record and making the playoffs three times, including an Eastern Conference Finals appearance in 2003-04. He also was a top assistant under Larry Bird for three seasons 1997-98-1999-2000. In his return to Indiana, Carlisle will replace Nate Bjorkren, who was fired after one season as the Pacers' head coach. Indiana went 34-38 last season, when the team had several key injuries and Bjorkren clashed with core players. The Pacers were eliminated in the play-in tournament, snapping the franchise's streak of five consecutive playoff appearances.